In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a simple way that you can organize all of your private practice documents and files and client paperwork and things like that. If this is something you're in desperate need of, please stick around, we're gonna jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you how I do the organization for the therapists that I work with. I'm gonna be showing you how to organize all this on Google Drive, but the principles will work with whatever system you're using, whether that's your local computer, your Mac, OneDrive, or any other system. I know when I start working with most clients that they don't have any kind of organization for their paperwork. So they don't have a client file, inside that will be their paperwork that they've signed, any letters that they've written that relate to that client, the client notes, any letters that they've been sent about that client from other professionals. So for example, if you really needed to get somebody's emergency contact, you wouldn't know how to get that really quickly. Whereas once you've organized your practice with my help, you will know exactly where you need to go to find that contact or that GP's number so that you can access it in an emergency. Another reason to organize your practice is for speed. How long do you spend searching for something which is just wasted time? If you want to write a letter, do you have a letter template already created that you can easily just copy and put the information in that you need and then save it where it needs to be saved so that you can always access it? Or do you type a new letter up every single time even though you're repeating the same information? Organizing your practice may take you a couple of hours to start with, but once it's done, it will save you so much time in the future. So before we jump into my computer, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim. I help therapists in private practice get online, get confident with admin and reduce tech overwhelm. So let's jump in. So today I'm going to show you how you can organize your private practice from the back end point of view. So I'm gonna be showing you this on Google Drive, but this method will work on anything. So whether you're just working on your local computer, whether you're working on OneDrive, however you're organizing your practice. So the first thing I would do is create one folder called your practice name. So I've just made up Simmons Council in here. So I'm gonna show you how you can create folders and create documents on Google Drive, but it will be very similar whether you're using it on your computer or on another cloud-based system. So to create a folder, you can just right click anywhere in the white space and go to new folder. And then you just give your folder a name. So I'm just gonna call that test and click create and then you will have a folder here. So I am um, gonna use this Simmons counseling one. So if you then double click on the folder itself, it will then open it up and this is what you put inside of the folder. So what's a good thing to do is to actually write it down on a piece of paper first. So think about all of the things that you have in your practice. So you can have things with regards to your clients, you can have your paperwork and forms, you can have invoicing, you can have accounts, you can have your CPD logs and your supervision information, and you can also have any templates that you've created. So again, just to create folders inside of your practice folder, just right click in the white space, go to new folder, and I'm gonna create a new folder called accounts. I'm also gonna create a CPD folder and a supervision folder. Okay. So once you've created all your folders, now it's time to upload things to the drive or create them within the drive. So if I just go to accounts, for example, and I have already got my sole trader bookkeeping log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload that to the drive. So to upload something from the drive, what you're gonna do is right click in the white space and you're gonna go to file upload. Then you're going to search for the information and you're just gonna double click once you've found it and it's gonna upload for you. There we go. So then if you double click on it, you can see that you have the template here for you, all ready to use. So to move back and forward through the folders, you can click on any of these up here. So you've got My Drive, then we've got Simmons Counseling, then we've got Accounts, and this is what is inside that folder. That's the last folder, so it lists what's inside. So if I just go back to Simmons Counseling, and let's have a look at the clients. So what I've done in clients is I have put current clients and past clients here. So in a current client folder, 
We then put the client's names. Now you can use initials, but if you're using Google Drive, you don't need to do that. It is GDPR compliant and it's also very secure because it's password protected. So you can put your client's full names and details there. So let's just take Kim Simmons, because that's me. And then what you can have in here is you can have a client's notes document. So I've created a client notes like example so that I can keep session notes and things like that. Um, I've also got the contact information. So this is the paperwork that my client has filled out with the information and I've saved that as a PDF and copied it into their file. And I also have a letter, which is a client update, which I've pretended that I've sent a letter to a psychiatrist. So I have a letter here as well. So they're the type of things that you can keep in your current client folder. So if we go back to Simmons Counseling, I want to show you how you can create new Google Docs, which are like Word and Google Sheets, which are like Excel documents. So if you want to create a new document, you can either click up here and click new and you can go to folder, doc, sheets, slides, which is like PowerPoint and Google Forms. Uh, so you can send paperwork to your clients. So you can click on any of these. And what you want to do is click on it once you're in the folder you're in. So let's say we want to do a CPD log. If we click into the CPD folder, go to new and we're going to do that on a sheet here then you can give it a name so we'll just call this cpd log let's call it 2022 and then you can start listing out your cpd so that you can you know keep track of the hours that you've done so i'll close this now and then you can see here um, this will update in a second to say cpd log like that and if you want to create a word document so let's say we want to create in our templates folder we want to create a like a letter template if you just go to new and go to google docs and then what you would do is fill it in and you can just like give it a name. So this would be a like, letter template. So what I would do then is create your template so that it's the one you use all the time. And then what you can do, let's say you want to send a letter to somebody. What you would do is you'd right click and go to make a copy and that will copy the template for you. And then what you can do is rename it. So we'll rename it and then you can put whatever the letter is. So let's say we're doing a referral letter for one of the clients. So what I like to do is put the client initials first. And then I'll put the date as well. OK. So we don't want to keep this in the templates folder. What we want to do is move it. So we're going to go right click. We're going to move to. OK, we're going to come out of templates. We're going to go into clients. We're going to go into current clients. We're going to go into Kim Simmons and we're going to move it there. And it's now moved from the template folder. So now when I go to clients, current clients and Kim, I've got the referral letter here. And here I can type up what I want to say. I can download it and save it as a password protective PDF so that I can send it to the doctor. Another couple of things I just wanna show you with regards to organizing your Google Drive. One of them is the view. So you can have it like this, which is like a list, or you can have a grid view, which I really like. So grid views give you a preview of the document and also show the folders in a different way. So they're still going to be alphabetical, but they're going to be up here rather than in a list format. Mm. So I really like that. Um, so you can decide which one works best for you. So I'm going to go to the grid layout here. And as you can see, when we click into things, here you can see all of the documents. Now, I quite like the grid view for like my main organization, but then when I get into folders, say if I was looking for something, I would put it back in list view so that I can see the full information. So you can switch between these all the time. So it's whatever is working for you best. The other thing you can do, which is pretty cool, is change the folders to different colors. So let's say for example, you have accounts, client details and they all have different years what you could do is sort all the years into a different color 
or just sort all the folders into a different color. So let's say we want to do clients and you want them in your brand color, for example. If you right click over the folder and change color, here are all the colors that you can choose from. So my company logo is like purple, so we'll give this a purple color. And then we'll keep current clients purple. But let's have past clients, we'll just keep that in the gray. So colour in your folders can be really helpful if you just want to see what's current and what is like past. So if we have our accounts folder, this one's going to be a current one, for example. So we can call that, let's say our current is orange. And then when you go into accounts, this is our current one. So we'll leave that. But maybe we have another folder in here, like past accounts. And we'll just keep that that gray color so that we know that it's not relevant now. So there's a couple of things you can do just to make things visually look better for you. So that is how I organize private practices for the clients that I work with. I really hope you found this useful and have some great takeaway tips to start organizing your own private practice. If you would like help with this, I do offer a done for you service where we set up the whole of Google Workspace, including Gmail, the calendar, the drive, and also Google Forms so that you can send paperwork to your clients electronically and easily. If this is something you're interested in, head to my website in the link below to find out more information. And if you're still here, Thank you so much. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I post videos weekly talking about everything to do with private practice admin and I'd love to have you on board. Until next time, thank you.